guys my name is Elise welcome back to another week with the foundry kids and welcome to the second week of our March series called redo in this series we're talking about forgiveness what it means to forgive somebody what it means when Jesus forgives you and how forgiveness can change things and that's what we're talking about today we're talking about how forgiveness can change things and we're going to hear a super cool Bible story about it but first we're going to stand up and sing a song we've got these exes by our names been holding grudges in place and blame Keeping a record of wrongs and it's getting long. Seems like the golden rule has gone out the window. So we can fight about who's right and watch our hearts go dark as night. Or we can choose to replace. Our Bible story today comes from the book of Luke, and this might be a story you've already heard before. Today we are talking about Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus was a person who lived a long, long time ago during the Bible times, and he actually met Jesus, and Jesus totally changed his life. See, Zacchaeus wasn't really a great guy before he met Jesus. He was cheating people and kind of stealing their money and people just didn't like him because, well, why would you like someone that's taking your money? That's not cool. But when Zacchaeus met Jesus, everything changed. And so let's learn more about what happened when Zacchaeus met Jesus. 
It's time for the story before the story. Today, we're in Luke, the third book in the New Testament. But before Luke, in the very beginning, out of a deep, deep love, God made an amazing world. But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to draw people back into relationships. So at the right time, God made a teeny tiny baby to be born in the small town of Bethlehem, God's very own son, Jesus. When Jesus grew up, he began to travel from town to town, teaching and healing. Everywhere Jesus went, big crowds of people pressed in around him. Religious leaders, everyday people, even Roman soldiers, and people who were considered outcasts. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Brian. One day, Jesus and his followers passed through the city of Jericho on their way to Jerusalem. As usual, a huge crowd gathered. They pressed in from all sides along the road, hoping to see Jesus, to, to touch him, to, to be healed. But one man was stuck on the edge of the crowd, a tax collector named Zacchaeus. Now, we know three things about Zacchaeus. He had a really hard to spell name, he had a lot of money, and he was super short, which meant he was basically getting run over by this crowd. Now, okay, you've got to understand about tax collectors, nobody liked them. And to be honest, it was for a good reason. Tax collectors were Jewish people who worked for the Roman government that was ruling over them. So it was like they were working for the enemy. And to make it worse, tax collectors got paid by demanding extra money for themselves. So Zacchaeus had gotten rich by taking money from his neighbors. In spite of all this, Zacchaeus really wanted a chance to see Jesus. Maybe he'd even heard that one of Jesus' own disciples, Matthew, had been a tax collector. Uh, please, could I get through? But no one wanted to give way to the man who had taken their money. Finally, Zacchaeus looked ahead and saw a sycamore tree right at the edge of the road. That's it. Zacchaeus raced ahead to that tree and climbed right up to a sturdy branch that reached out over the road. <laughs> Best seat in the house. The crowd drew closer and closer until Jesus was right below Zacchaeus. There's just something about him. At that very moment, Jesus looked up. Zacchaeus could feel his heart racing. He could tell that somehow Jesus knew everything about him, all the wrong things he had done, all the lies he had told, and the money he had stolen. Zacchaeus, come down at once. I must stay at your house today. What? <laughs> Jesus could have been annoyed with Zacchaeus or called him out in front of everyone for the wrong things Zacchaeus had done. But instead, Jesus invited himself over to have dinner with Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus's heart filled with joy as he rushed ahead to prepare his home for Jesus. Jesus, come in. Lots of people had followed. They couldn't believe that Jesus would choose to hang out with somebody who had done so many wrong things. Jesus has gone to be the guest of that sinner. Zacchaeus was filled with gratitude. Jesus loved him and had chosen to forgive him. And Zacchaeus knew he couldn't keep on living his old life. Look, Lord, here and now, I give half of what I own to those who are poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back. I will pay back four times the amount I took. Today, salvation has come to your house. The Son of Man came to look for the lost and save them. In a single day, Zacchaeus went from outcast to beloved follower of Jesus. His entire life was changed from the inside out. The end. Wow, that's amazing. So Zacchaeus promised to give away half of what he had, plus four times the amount that he cheated out of anyone. That might have been everything he owned. But it didn't matter because Jesus. Jesus had forgiven Zacchaeus completely, even before he asked. So what's our part in the story? Well, forgiveness can change people, starting with you. When you ask God to forgive you of the wrong things you've done, it frees you from carrying around a load of guilt and fear. It, it frees you to love God and love others. And when you choose to forgive those who have wronged you, it can change them too. Like maybe your little brother borrows your video game without asking and messes it up. You could yell at him, get in a big argument, and stay mad for days. 
Or you could choose to forgive your brother. Then you don't have to carry that anger. Plus, it could change your brother's heart, too, and make a way for you to be friends. Forgiving someone does not always mean that they will change, but it opens the door for them to live differently. Like Zacchaeus. Exactly. Sharing God's forgiveness with others is a pretty incredible gift. It sure is. See you next time. It's super great that Jesus can forgive us for anything we've done. But what's super great about this story is that when Jesus forgave Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus then went and tried to make things right with the people that he had been cheating and stealing from. He went and he gave them a whole bunch of money back. And it's really cool because forgiveness can sometimes change people. And that's what we see in this story with Zacchaeus. He didn't just go about living his life the same way he did, where he was still like cheating people. Mm -mm. He made a big, big change because forgiveness can change people. I know forgiveness has changed me. So I hope that you guys learned something about forgiveness this week. I hope that you guys can be changed by forgiveness too. And before we go, I want to talk about our memory verse for the month. So our memory verse for March is Colossians 3.13. And it says, put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. And again, if you come into the building, you can get one of these little flyers. And it also has a QR code for some of our devotionals that we do. So that is our memory verse for the month and I'll see everybody next week. Bye.